Hello YouTube world, welcome to a rose colored view. Today's video is all about this beauty right here. <laughs> so, if you are new to my channel, I had a previous channel where I vlogged every day throughout the holidays and one of those vlogs was Christmas Day where we opened up all of our Christmas gifts. I vlogged the entire experience. That channel is still up. If you would like to see that video, I will try and link it down below. The name of the channel is Pink Sprinkle Beauty. So with that said, I got a lot of requests to do a sort of haul slash review on this handbag from subscribers of that channel as well as from this channel. So I decided to go ahead and say, hey, let's do this shall we because there's several gifts that i got that people wanted to see a review on so this is part one henry bindle this is the henry bindle rivington convertible patrol tote yeah that's a mouthful <laughs> the color of this bag is patrol and that is the main thing that attracted me to this handbag i saw the patrol color in a Henry Bimble handbag, not this design. Each year, let me explain myself, each year they come out with the patrol color, but in a different handbag design. So this year it was in the tote. I think when I saw it, it was in a satchel. This bag also comes in a small size and the large tote, which is what I have here. So I saw it about three years ago and I said, I want that bag and I've wanted it ever since. And this year, Santa, AKA my brother, Yep, he was nice. He was super duper nice. <laughs> so, like I said, it comes in a small version and it comes in this side, which is the large tote. It ranges in price from $500 to $700. I know, big gulp for those of us who are just everyday average, you know, living people. That is a huge goal. But with that said, Henry Bindle does have a great holiday sale. Uh, starting around October-ish, November, I think, until after Christmas. So, yeah, and it's a great deal. It's a great sale. If you're looking for a specific handbag from Henry Bindle, that is the time to look. And if there is a bag that you have your eye on, definitely, if you can, get it at that time. Because once these bags are gone, that's it. They are sold out for the year. They will not come back. This patrol color will no longer be in this tote. Next year, it will come back, but it will come back in a different designed bag. So if you see it and you like that particular bag, if you're into totes or if you're into a satchel and you see the patrol color in that particular bag, you need to snatch it up at that time because once it's sold out, that's it. It is gone. So yes, that's just a little bit of detail there. And I'm so so happy with this bag. I can kind of give more of an honest review because I've been using this bag now for about a good three and a half weeks. One thing that I will say about it is the process of the leather is phenomenal. They did such a fantastic job with coating this bag. It holds its structure very, very well. It's sturdy. It doesn't get nicked. It's hard to scratch it. I mean, unless you take a knife and literally just go, or scissors or anything like that, this bag has been prepared and processed to a T, which is one of the reasons why I love it so much. The color, let's get back to the color. It is an iridescent color. It can look black, it can look dark green, it can look pink, it can look purple, it can look silver, it can look red. It can look any color it wants to look depending on what you're wearing and the lighting that you're in, which is another reason I love this bag. It is definitely an iridescent bag. Now the main color I would say is definitely green, but it pulls all colors in. Like right now, I'm seeing the color rose that I'm wearing. I'm seeing that in the bag. So yes, it is very versatile due to that fact. You can wear this with pretty much anything you want to. And also with that being said, it's very versatile because it can go from day to night extremely well. One reason is because it's convertible, and I'm going to get into that in a minute. But um, another reason is just because it's it's a tote. It it can go with evening, it can go with day wear, it can go with you know workout wear. I mean, you can use this bag anytime you want to use the bag. That's the great thing about it. So before I get into the convertible 
part of aspect of this bag. I'm just going to do the bag itself first. So I love here how they have the hoop straps with the, that are very thick. These are very thick, sturdy straps. And the, the sewing attachment comes from the outside as well as the inside. So you know that these straps are not going to go anywhere. And that's important. I'm sorry, these handles, the handles. That's important because this bag doesn't come with a strap. So that's, that's another thing I wanted to mention. There is no strap with the actual handbag itself. You either have to hold it this way or this way. And obviously, if you don't have a jacket or hoodie on like me, you can put it over your shoulder. And like I said, the way that they made these handles, it's ergonomically, if that's even a word, <laughs> great because it fits right over your shoulder where it's not pulling, it's not too heavy. It fits right over your arm your wrist area here so it's not really heavy because of the way that this bag was is processed it is on the heavy side so I think that's why they took special attention into the way the actual um, handles here are made Woo, brain fart there for a minute and it also fits directly into your hand really really nicely so yes now, with this bag, you have one main compartment. I also like the way that they have the, the zipper here. It does unhook. I think it unhooks because you can actually stick it in like that, if you like. Or, if you're like me, I, I don't know if you can see that. So I just, let me do that again. The hooks, it snaps here, so you can unsnap it, and you can actually stick it in the handbag like that. Or, if you're like me, I actually like the effect that it gives, the design effect that it gives with the zipper on the outside. It gives that extra little hoop over here which makes it really unique. So the zipper itself is gold and it has a patrol leather um, little strap here and it says Henry Bindle on the hardware and it just opens up and you have your one main compartment here in this handbag. Another thing I will say is that the <clears throat> part that the zipper is attached to, this leather right here, I like the thickness of it. At first I wondered why they were doing that. Why does that have the thickness? I hope you guys can see that. See it's very thick leather here, very thick leather there. I said I wonder why they're doing that. Well, I know why now. Because if you have this bag unzipped and for some reason it tips over, this keeps all the thickness, the way they have this coming in further than most handbags, it keeps your phone, your lipsticks, your lip glosses, everything that would be in your pockets that don't have a zipper, it keeps them from falling out. I said, oh my God, what a great idea. Because I don't know about you guys, but I don't always zip my bags up. <laughs> Sometimes I just like to have them open because it's just more convenient for me. Obviously, if I'm out in public, it zipped up. But I just thought that that was such a great Thing. So I hope that you can see that, how they made these this little area here of leather come out and it's really extra thick. So this is the front of the bag. On the front of the bag, you've got Henry Bindle right here in the middle in gold. You've got the convertible part here, which I'll get into in a minute. You've got your lover, lovely zipper hardware. This is not just for decoration. There is a purpose for that, which we'll get into in a minute. So that's really cute. Same concept as the main zipper, gold. And then you've got Henry Bindle here on the hardware, and you've got your nice patrol color little leather strap there to help pull the zipper. And on the back of the bag, same design, just plain. Nothing really there great to see. <laughs> on the bottom of the bag, let me see if I can hold that together, you've got your gold feet for. And this is nice and sturdy. Like I said, this bag was processed to hold its structure. Over the years, I don't think that this leather will get softer. This is a type of leather. It was processed specifically for it to stay structured. So I do not think that this leather will get softer over time. I think it will stay just as it is because that was the point of why they process, processed it and coated it the way they did um, for this particular handbag. So yes, that is the front, and this is the back. And again, here is the bottom with the gold feet. So getting into the inside of the bag, like I said, you have one main compartment. I hope you can see it there. In the back of the bag, you have your traditional um, zipper component with the white zipper 
leather um, trim there, and you've got your bow, your taupe and white Henry Bindle bow. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see that, but that's in this back compartment here. Right in front of that zipper compartment, you have a slip pocket, which is really nice. You can throw pins, pencils, lip glosses, your phone, anything you want in there. So yeah, that's a really nice detail, which is what I like. Then you've just got your main open compartment. And on the front side, you have two pocket compartments. One larger one for your phone. And then on this side, you've got a smaller pocket, which is good for pencils, pens, and lip glosses that you just, lipsticks that you just need to get on the go. And then like I said, in the in main pocket, that's all it is. So you, if you like to have things compartmentalized, like I do, I just use makeup bags and things like that to cart compartmentalize the bag because it is just one open compartment that's basically it getting to the convertible part so here on the front this is which makes this bag extremely unique these two zippers like i said they're not just for design you just unzip them all the way down pull up and voila you have your convertible compartment i'm going to set the bigger bag down this is what takes this bag truly from day to evening. <laughs> so, a lot you can just use this as a clutch. You can use it as a wallet for your handbag. Or you can use it as a evening bag. So it has a really great notch, gold notch turn here. And it says Henry Bindle there on the hardware. Just opens right up and you have a beautiful hooped hook chain here let me get it out <laughs> there we go i'm just going to close this back up and show you guys there it is isn't that beautiful oh so gorgeous right such a beautiful evening bag oh my goodness just beautiful and actually i mean it doesn't even have to be evening you can wear this during the day to work this is great for work i mean whatever you want to use it for it's just Fantastic. So again, you can wear the strap. You won't be able to see the bag. I'm just showing you. Wear the strap regular. You can wear it crossbody. So if you're, you know, not using it as an evening bag and you're going out and you need to just have a little bag there, that's great. I mean, I wear this with workout clothes and it looks, <laughs> it looks fantastic. So in the inside, you just have, again, one main compartment. There are no pockets, no nothing. It's just throw your things in there and go. <laughs> which is great, but I love the size. This is a fantastic size. <coughs> Excuse me, oh my goodness. And um, <clears throat> it's as you can see, it's very easy to detach from the main bag and very easy to put back on the main bag. I'm just gonna put the zipper, I'm sorry, the zipper, the uh, chain back in the bag, and then I'm going to actually show you how it goes back. So you just push this, just like you would zip up your coat. That's the same principle here. You put the little end hooks there on both sides. Hopefully I can do this one-handed without turning the bag around. We'll see. Let's see. Am I that skilled? Am I that talented? I am. <laughs> I am that talented. Woohoo! There you go. <laughs> Convertible. <laughs> Tote in patrol. <laughs> So that, my friends, is basically this bag. One of the reasons why, why I like Henry Bindle is because even though their bags are very unique, they're very classy, they're also very basic. You know, you don't have to go through a whole lot of fuss and, you know, there's not all this stuff all over the place. And it's just a very basic handbag, which is what I like. I like basic handbags, but that have a touch of uniqueness. And the patrol color is what makes this bag unique. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the review of this bag. Another thing that I also want to mention is if you are interested in Henry Bindle, if you do purchase anything from their store, they will send you little newsletters and mail inserts that have fantastic coupons. Hint, hint, 20% off, 30% off. Not only the original price, but the sale price. Another hint, hint. <laughs> So that's also something, and I think you can also get those um, mail inserts if you actually just sign up on their site with your email address. So they will send you coupons, 
immediately. Also, when you sign up on your on their email address, I think you get 10% off immediately, 10 or 15% off. But they're always having sales. That's a great thing about Henry and Bendel. So these bags are, I think, really well priced, especially when they are on sale. Like I said, the only downside to it is once they're gone, they're gone. So thanks again, you guys, for joining me. I'll show this again before I before I sign off. Let me show the bag again. There's the front. And there's the back. <laughs> and here we have him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Thanks again for joining me. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be in this series for the Christmas uh, gift haul slash review on this beauty right here, the Fitbit. <laughs> So I will see you guys in my next video. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And as you can see, requests on this channel are definitely taken into consideration and done. <laughs> so yes, that's all a part of being on this channel. I love to communicate with my subscribers. That's what it's all about, making new friends, communicating, and sharing. So if you do like what you see, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'll check you guys later. Peace.